Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Oracle VirtualBox in Windows. And uh, I mean, mainly just take you through the installation process of Ubuntu version 24. Hopefully with this tutorial, you kind of understand the process of installing an operating system into VirtualBox. And you can repeat this with pretty much any operating system that you want to test out. And you can just load it onto VirtualBox and uh, do whatever you want with it. I will also take you through the installation of the guest editions in VirtualBox, which you really need to be able to run your machine in full resolution. Um, so for any like headless server installations, you don't really need this. But if you're running Ubuntu desktop or any other desktop, uh, you'll want to install the guest editions so that you can get that full screen resolution. It can be a little bit different for different operating systems, but generally it, it does just work in Ubuntu loading the ISO CD. I'm going to go to ubuntu.com slash download. And in this case, you can choose desktop or server, which is just going to be the headless Ubuntu server with no desktop environment. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit download Ubuntu desktop and we are going to get the LTS edition here. Now I'm going to actually move this ISO and I'll put it right there. I'm going to go and delete this other one. Okay, and then assuming that you've already installed Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager, we are going to hit new and then we're going to give this a name let me just go ahead and select the iso image here so i'm going to hit other i'm going to find ubuntu 24.04.1 uh, maybe i'll just copy this and make that the name so i'm going to hit open and then let's make that the name right there so i'm going to change the username to thomas and i'm going to give it my own password and let's change the host name to ubuntu vb domain name that's fine we'll just do that i'll go over guest editions too because this will allow us to have full resolution give it however much memory you can afford to give it and give it uh, a couple or a few cpus virtual hard disk is cool because it's not pre-allocated so it thinks it has 100 gigabytes, but it's only going to allocate as needed. And there we go. Finish. Okay, so it's Ubuntu 24.04. Okay, so this should kind of guide us through the installation process. We're going to install Ubuntu. Uh, we'll just go with the default interactive installation. And then just we'll just do the default selection for what apps to install. And then you could, if you're installing this on a computer with NVIDIA drivers uh, needed, you might want to um, check these, but I don't think I'm going to need this. And then we want to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. So this is going to be my user account. I'll say Thomas, computer name, virtualbox, Ubuntu, username, password, and why next? Next. And it's already created the partition for us. Hit install. Okay, so the installation is complete. What we need to do is basically turn off the machine and let it boot from the hard drive. I'll just shut it down from here, power off the machine. And then now I'm gonna change the boot order. So let's see. First of all, I'm gonna bump up the video memory all the way up so that this will allow us to get the full, hopefully 4K resolution inside of the virtual machine. And then we're gonna go to system and just make sure that the hard drive is first. It already is, so we should be good to go. So let's start it up. Okay, now we can actually sign in to the computer itself. All right, complete the setup, skip. Mm, don't share system data and finish. Okay, how do we get this to be full screen? Because there's no resizing options. So we need to insert guest editions CD image. All right, we can't do it right now. Might be because the OS is still um, using the drive. So let's look, let's look at that real quick. 
Let's see if we can fix that. We're going to storage and then we've still got this here. So I don't believe we need that. Remove disk, start it up again. Let's try inserting the guest additions. Boom, there it is. Let's click on that baby. Okay, and then it says this uh, contains software to run. Just hit run software and we'll say yes. So we'll authenticate. Okay, so to fix that, let's open up a terminal. And let's install sudo apt install and I'll go ahead and give it the yes parameter bzip2 gcc. Okay, now that we have that done, let's try this again. We're gonna go hit run software, hit run. Okay, let's close that. Hmm. Okay, that's looking pretty nice. And then let's change it to full screen mode. So control F. Now we're in full screen. We might change the scaling a little bit, but otherwise we have a really nice resolution here. So let's change it to 200. And boom, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, so now what I would recommend you do is not do anything else with this ISO. You got it set up like a fresh install. So what I would do is power it off. And then if you want to install anything, I would clone it. And then that way you always have something, you always have the starting point here. And then you just right click, hit clone and then you can do whatever you want with that clone. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.